Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. I just got a call from Harold in South Carolina. He wants to know how to set the bail spring on a 300A Mitchell. So I told him I'd be happy to do that. I have, uh, I've had one, I just uh, kind of took it apart. It's, uh, it's in need of a rebuild. And I've had it on my back project list for a while, maybe a pandemic project or whatever. But you can see it's all, all rusted up there. And it was my intention at some point to do that. And then uh, along came Harold and he, uh, he mentioned that he needed to figure out how to set the bail. And I told him I'd be happy to try and do that for him. So let's, uh, let's show you how to take, how to take it apart. And then uh, you know, later I'll come back and uh, put some of this stuff together. But for now, I always take the rotor off when I go to work on a bale. It's just easier for me. And uh, then I remove this arm because that always gets in the way when you go to, uh, to reset these Mitchell bales. So I'm going to just grab this pliers and remove that spring. That spring is attached by a screw over here so it's not going to fly anywhere. And then there's a screw that holds the rest of the assembly to the, uh, the rotor. So let's go take that out. And uh, it's always good to do this when you're servicing a reel anyway because the, uh, when the bail performance or the snap gets weak, it's usually because there's a buildup of corrosion and stuff in there. So I'm just going to put those two screws together. I can leave that over on the side. And then we'll, uh, we'll take this out. So if I remember, this is just a trailing arm over here. I like to remove the bale from the rotor completely. If you have the ability, you can remove the wire. That's even better. We have a, a screw on this one that will enable you to do that. And then once you remove that wire, I'll do it this way. Let's not compromise anything. This should just be a twist on the hold here and remove, but I'm just going to set that off to the side. Okay, so now that I have the bail wire off, let's take this off and show you what's going on. So we notice that the tag end is down here in that hole. Let's pull this off and we'll show you where that stud end is. And we'll show you how to reset. So. The stud end came to this cavity here. So it's kind of hard to see. So let's see, if we hold it straight up, it would be the six o'clock position is the cavity that you're going to align that with. Now, how are you going to do that? So you're going to flip your, your bale to the neutral position and insert it into that cavity. And then you're going to just, oops, bail springs are always fun. The six o'clock position cavity, insert it, insert it in there, and kind of hold tension on it as you roll it around. Get that point to clear that shoulder there. And then just roll it until you have the screw mounting hole there. Get that screw started there and tighten that down. And now if we flip it, we have a functional bail spring. So let's do that one more time for you, Harold. So we'll take it off. Move it out completely. We have the right angle piece goes in the hole in the case towards the back. Not that big wide one there, actually. I'm We've got the arm, the six o'clock position on the arm, that one right in the middle of the three. Now, of course, it could be the middle of the three anywhere, right? I'm going to hold down that back just for fun there because it seemed to slip the last time. Hard, hard to kind of do it for the video here unfortunately. You want to get the stud into the middle cavity I don't have the dexterity for this for the camera. 
into the middle cavity. Keep pressure on it as you roll across that shoulder. Then center it through the screw mounting hole. Get your screw started there. functional bail. So let's put the rest of it back in case you were paying attention there. Uh, since I am going to be rebuilding this, uh, I'm not going to do too much at the moment. I am going to scrape that off a little bit just so that I have a good click there. Hold it out. That's the top of your line. So you kind of snake it through the hole there. Come down and up. Grab that screw that belongs with it. Let's put that in the hole there. I apologize if this is off camera. I tried to do a close up. When you try to do close ups, sometimes I lose the, the range of where I am with the, with the camera itself. Those of you that watch my videos know we, we always have fun with small screws. Okay, so we're screwing that down again. That'll be the trip for it. Gonna put the wire in underneath again on that clip now. Like that again. Now when we go to, to flip our bail, it's gonna trip. And when we come along and hit the ramp, it's gonna fire it. Alright, back to the reinstalling the bail then. Just kind of reverse the process that we were just on here. Insert the wire in. Tighten that side down. Now this has just got a little gnarly kind of thing on it. So you generally have to just kind of work it in and eventually it'll turn to the right side, which it just did there. There's some torsion under this bale here, so a little bit of a bend going on there, but uh, we'll get it right. There we go. This is your back side and we left the other screw over there so we didn't confuse them. They might be the same screw, I don't know, but regardless. And me and small screws again, huh? There we go. Tighten that down. And that's how you do it. That's your bell spring set for the 300A, which differs from the, the other. I'm going to just I'm going to trip it this way. I don't want to hit my hand too much. There you go. That's your trip. And we've got a bent bare wire. That's why it's not firing as good as it is. Set. Trip. Okay. Hope that helps, Harold. Hope it uh, got in the picture for you. It's middle cavity, 6 o'clock from the top. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Thank you for watching.